One thing you can definitely say about this punk band is they are never stagnant. If she wants to dance and drink all night. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with bassist Andrew Seward from Against Me. What did you grow up listening to and what kind of music do you think is influencing the band? Me personally growing up, you know, I just remember cruising around in my parents' minivan. I wasn't driving, they were driving. But you know, listening to like Tom Petty and Neil Young, Creedence Clearwater Revival, stuff like that. Neil Young and Tom Petty are still going completely strong and they're great artists. They've stood the test of time and I think that's influenced me and our band, you know, an insane amount because we don't just want to make one record that people just kind of like. We want to make something that can be timeless because that's the point of music. You want to make really great, timeless music. I know you guys are focused on always moving forward and you know evolving as a band, so how would you say the band has evolved from album to album? It's hard to explain from our perspective because it's always natural. You know, Tom started the band by himself in 97. I joined in 2002, so eight years ago. It's always just been kind of whatever happens. You know, it's not, it's not like we sit down in a room and go, okay, all right, no more acoustic guitars. This is just going to be, you know, we're going to become a thrash band. And what about fan reactions to that sort of, I guess you could say, drastic change? Number one, people will think what they will. That's none of my business. You know, they can hate or love, that's fine. but. I find with every record, people start liking the record before it, if that makes any sense. It doesn't make any to me. I'd like to think we're not just a band that people love or hate. I would really hope that there are some people who just kind of like good music and they're like, oh, I like a couple songs, whatever. But we, we have some very passionate fans. but. There are people who like to get on our case a lot and just talk smack, but it goes with the territory. Now, in terms of the live shows, describe them for someone who hasn't been lucky enough to attend. I would just say an insanely good time. You know, just nonstop energy, just keeps going, doesn't really stop. There's no real lapse of time. We don't really stop, we're not as fast as the Ramones in between songs, but we're getting pretty damn close. No dead air. Tell me about your relationship with the fans. Anyone who's met us should know that we're just normal people. If you're nice to us, we're gonna be nice tenfold to you. Can I cuss at all? No? Okay. If you come up and you're a complete asshole to us, what do you expect? We're just normal people when people put bands on pedestals. It's ridiculous because musicians should not be viewed as like uh, idols. Musicians are very flawed people, except for me. I'm pretty nice. Maybe there's something wrong with all of us manipulation. Where do you see the experiment going next? I don't know, but my whole only point is I hope it keeps going. Nazi. 